Hi friends, today we are going to learn state watch pattern in new Kafka. We have already discussed what, what is a state watch pattern. Uh, today we are going to consider or discuss how it is implemented in the new Kafka implementation. So in new Kafka, what is going to happen is all the changes that are happening for a controller are going to be written in a topic. And all the brokers that are present in the system they are going to act as a consumer of this topic. They are going to consume from this topic. So any controller based event happens uh, in uh, new Kafka. It is going to be subscribed by all the brokers. And this way they are going to get all the events. Uh, this has all the qualities of the state watch pattern that we uh, learned in the previous video. All the data is being written in a write ahead log file or a log file and for example b1 goes down and it had it had consumed till here and after it went offline these many events were published by the controller Kafka, uh, broker controller or the Kafka controller then once b1 comes back online it is going to gulp down or it is going to consume these events also. This way it is not going to lose any uh, event or it is not going to lose the updates that had happened in the cluster after it went offline. As a bonus note, we are going to learn a very small thing about Zookeeper. For example, you have uh, your server, server 1. This is listening on Zookeeper and it is uh, it has set a watch on let's say slash k1. Now what is going to happen, let's say your k1 value changes on this uh, zoo, on the zookeeper and the event was sent to server 1 via this connection. Now once an event is uh, triggered, zookeeper removes this watch. So in zookeeper, watches are a one time thing. As soon as one time a watch is triggered or an event is triggered for a particular watch, it is server's responsibility to set, set the watch again. So let's say uh, there are E1, E2, E3 and E4. These are the events that had happened on let's say K1. E, is the, e, e are the events that had happened on a particular key. Then if E2 is received, as soon as E2 is received, uh, S, uh, servers, our server will receive E2. And once it has received E2, the watch has been reset. And after that, before the server was able to reestablish uh, the watch on Zookeeper, E3 and E4 uh, happened. So our server will be behind the events that had happened. So uh, all in all, in Zookeeper's events, uh, event watches or state watch is a one-time thing. As soon as your uh, value uh, changes and a watch is triggered, you will have to set it again. Also, uh, in uh, previous Kafka implementations, uh, let's say you had multiple brokers and you had a zookeeper. All the brokers are going to set themselves as partition leaders or followers for a, uh, inside the zookeeper. Let's say slash broker one slash broker two and slash broker 3, how are other brokers going to know that uh, for topic 1, let's say topic 1, a broker has uh, went offline. So what is going to happen is as soon as this value slash br1 for a particular topic uh, gets deleted from this server, brokers are going to know that the uh, broker has went offline and they are going to uh, use that to establish themselves as broker. I know it was not clear from this implementation or this uh, explanation. I'm going to cover this in the next video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you and have a nice day.